In Santa Catarina and Paraná, southern Brazil, severe soil degradation over the past two decades left many farmers with no choice. Find a solution or abandon the land. Roland Ristoff began experimenting with no-tillage farming more than 20 years ago. He is considered a pioneer of conservation agriculture. Before starting conservation agriculture, there was a lot of work to do. Plowing, harrowing, seeding. And then erosion would carry off all the water. If we hadn't changed over, all these would be desert now. And there would be no crops, just stones. Cover crops are the key. Grown between annual crops, they protect the soil from the damaging effects of heavy rainfall, sun and wind, provide nutrients and facilitate water infiltration by reducing soil compaction. By integrating livestock production, Francisco Sedowski saves money on feed and effectively lets the cows prepare the land for direct seeding of his next crop. His integrated approach to resource management, which includes pig raising and fish farming, actually improves the quality of the local water supply. This farm is a model of environmentally friendly recycling. We don't have to worry now because we have clean water on our farm. There is no animal waste in our stream. The situation has really improved. We can raise pigs without damaging the environment. Direct seeding makes conservation agriculture considerably less labor-intensive than conventional farming and more cost-effective. The elimination of tillage reduces machinery and fuel costs while cover crops reduce the need for expensive chemical inputs. And even in dry years, yields increase as soil quality and water infiltration improves. With conservation agriculture, you save money and you can produce more. I don't know the exact figures, but I think that our production has increased by about 30 or 40 percent. Time saved with conservation agriculture is used by farmers to diversify production and supplement their income. Products like sugar and jam can be sold all year round to ensure financial security for small-scale farmers. In southern Brazil, conservation agriculture has made sustainability a reality. And the Food and Agriculture Organization is already promoting the same approach in Africa and Central Asia. I think that conservation agriculture really could solve the food security problem and it could also be a valuable weapon in the fight against poverty. For many families in southern Brazil, that fight has already been won. By making the most of natural resources and letting nature take its course,